Theater going has been a staple of the Philadelphia landscape since 1809. Recently, though, the decline among young adults attending theaters is alarming. Even in the city of brotherly love, that faithful demographic are getting older and the younger aren't replenishing these theaters like they used to. What factors have led to these changing trends among young adults? Can these numbers be reversed? And if so, how? The Lantern Theater, a small venue just outside one of the busiest parts of Philadelphia, prides itself on being unique. Charles McMahon, the artistic director at The Lantern, believes one of the ways his theater company achieves uniqueness is by having thought-provoking and engaging texts incorporated into his plays. What makes us different from other theater companies in Philadelphia? Um, I, I think all the companies in Philadelphia are somewhat different from, uh, from one another. They have their different um, aesthetic values that they bring to it. In our case, um, we are a, a very literary theater company. We, we focus on, on uh, plays that have uh, great texts, that really focus on big ideas, uh, often ideas that have some kind of transcendent value. Um, we do a lot of classical theater, theater that has um, been around for a long time, but we also, when we're choosing newer work, uh, we, we generally focus on things that, that have the same kind of big resonant uh, ideas that, that you'll find in, in the great classic plays. Catherine McMillan, the Associate Artistic Director at The Lantern, recognizes how competitive the entertainment market is at successfully capturing young adults' interest in their products. By closely engaging the audience members of her theater, though, she thinks there is a legitimate chance to involve youth in a democratic manner that keeps them begging for more. There are so many modes of entertainment or ways of spending time that theater competes with. Um, not only film, social media, you know, just staring at your phone. Um, that what those things don't do that theater can is acknowledge that the audience is there, that we need the audience to be there to exist. Um, a rehearsal might look exactly like a performance on stage, except when the seats are empty in the audience, it's not a theatrical performance. It's an exercise. Theater needs people. Jessica Doheny, the general manager at The Lantern, says that one of the ways to reverse the decline among Philadelphia young adults in theater is to start them at an early age. Targeting kids who are in their teens is entirely ineffective. Teens are the most impressionable of all demographics anywhere. What their school does is what they do. What their friends do is what they do. Rather, she believes, you need to get them genuinely interested around five years old. That way, if they like your product and they think it speaks to them, you're more likely to establish them as regular theater goers when they hit their 20s, 30s, and beyond. The Lantern Theater staff hopes that with their rich contextual plays, their unique theater arrangement, and their successful engagement with Philadelphia youth, they are able to establish themselves as one of the premier and audience-friendly theater companies in Philadelphia for the next hundred years and beyond. This is Samuel Botwinick from Philly Limelight in Center City.